Hey, this is Mike. I'm here at Conway Ford, Conway, South Carolina, and I'm checking out a 2015 Ford Explorer Limited. And this one is in the Trico white paint. And the Limited comes with a 20 inch polished aluminum wheel, aluminum alloy wheel, four wheel disc brakes, and it is a four wheel vented disc brakes. privacy glass and you can tell the the Explorer is a decent sized vehicle it does have a third row and uh, it's nice and smooth looking it's not too square has a nice rounded front end it does have the projector halogen headlights here fog lights is in addition to that Alrighty, so here's the key. Um, it's just a key fob. There's no, um, you don't have to worry about a key here, but basically it has remote start. So right now I've already started the vehicle, um, but it does have the remote start and you can lock it and unlock it here. You can also open up the, the tailgate here. It is a uh, automatic lift gate. But what I wanted to show you is just having this key in my pocket, I can walk up to the door and I can, you know, say, I want to uh, unlock the doors. I just put my hand here on the handle. It un automatically unlocks. To relock it, I just put my thumb or my finger on this uh, surface here, and it relocks. You don't have to really push push it. Uh, it's just a, a sensor. So you just put your foot, thumb there or finger there. You just touch it. It will automatically lock the vehicle. To unlock it, like I showed you, you just put your hand on the handle here and it unlocks. It is a proximity key. It senses the proximity of the key close to the vehicle. Also, it senses your hand on the handle, and that's uh, well, any, not anybody could just walk up and touch it. And it'll unlock. So here's the inside of the passenger door. It is a a uh, tan black with the dark wood grain accents here. You have the matching stitching around. Pretty much everything soft to the touch, very soft right here and here. Um, up here is also soft. You got the bottle holder, plenty of space down there for putting junk in the door. You have a shiny metallic Explorer badge there in the threshold. Power seats on the passenger side. Now these front seats are leather, of course, as you could probably see that. It is a tan color and they are they have these perforations here in the leather because they are heated and cooled so this allows the seats to be uh, climate controlled all right right here is the glove compartment which you can see is has plenty of space but let's continue on Okay, here's the back. There's the back door. You can see it's very similar um, in, in design as the front, it's just slightly different. So here's the back seats. This one does have the bench seats. You can also have the, um, the bucket seats if you wanted to. You can see you have plenty of leg room here in the back for the back seat drivers. These are heated seats. They are leather perforated seats. And you do have a Fold down armrest with some cup holders as well. Now the back seat drivers have some climate control of their own and they also have a power supply here and a uh, 110 volt 150 watt uh, Edison plug there. Down here is, let's see if I can do this from this angle, um, two cup holders. And they are a little bit have a little flexible sides so they can adapt to different size cups. And you see it does have the panoramic sunroof here in the back. Dual pane. So everybody can enjoy some sun. Alright, so I know what you're thinking. How do you get in the third row? Well, it's real simple. All you do is you pull this strap right here, that lowers that headrest. Then you lift this up, it flattens down the seat. Lift it up again, it lifts up the seat for you. So now 
you can enter the vehicle and access the third row. You do have plenty of storage space and cup holders and all this cool stuff for the third row passengers. Um, so that way they can have a little bit of fun back there. They do have a pretty good amount of leg room. You can see it. There's a space between the floor and the actual seat so their legs are not, their knees are not sticking up in the air if they're, they have any height to them. I'm going to leave that down for a second to show you why in a second. Alright, it's beeping at me let me know I have the keys not in there. Uh, here's the fuel door. It is on the passenger side and you can see there's no cap. So you basically open it up and put your fuel nozzle in there, pump it full of gas, and you just close the door. That's all you have to do. So here's the back. It does have dual exhaust for the 3.5 liter V6 engine, which has 288 horsepower, I believe. I think so. Now back here, you see it does have the backup camera lens there. There's parking sensors, these little round circles here across the back. Those are the parking sensors. You see the limited badge. Um, also, this may have a trailer uh, tow package underneath that cover. Um, if it doesn't, that's where it goes. So opening up this back, there's a couple ways to do it. First way is using the key. Um, so basically you could just double tap this or you can use the handle there. So I'm going to go ahead and use the key. Opens up. Completely automatic. Alright, so here's the third row seat. Behind the third row seat you can see the cargo space. But let's just say that this isn't enough cargo space and you need a little bit more. Well, you can have a pretty good amount considering that you can use these buttons here to uh, to reposition these seats. So um, I can do it one of the right hot, right hand side or left hand side. Uh, I can do both of them at the same time. So basically, what I'm going to do, I'm going to push this button here, and I'm going to stow them away. Okay, so now they're stowed away. And you can see now that I have a tremendous amount of space, especially considering that those that second row seat will fold down. All those seats will fold down as well. So you have a almost like a pickup truck size amount of space for cargo. So you can always, you know, put them back to normal position by pushing that button there. Or I can just fold them like that and they'll just fold down that way you can utilize um, this space down here that space you know that kind of stuff I'm gonna put it back to normal now right here to the left of that you see it has a power supply in case you need to plug something in back here this one does have the Sony premium sound system with 12 speakers and there's one of them in there it does have a spare tire under this cover under here but you do have to remove this in order to access it. Okay, so the way of lowering it, of course I can use the key, but also I can use this button here. And then I can just step back and let it do its thing, or I could just let it do its thing while I'm moving on. So hopefully you'll be able to see on this side mirror here that it does have, yeah, there we go, you see that? symbol there that shows you the blind spot monitoring system will illuminate when there's somebody in your blind spot. Also it has a cross traffic alert that will uh, let you know if there's a vehicle uh, coming in for either side when you're backing out of the parking spot. Pretty cool features. So here's the inside of the driver's door. You got the same pockets at the, as the other side and you have a little bit more buttons. So you have your window buttons. You also have automatic uh, window buttons for the front so um, you know you can just one touch and it goes down that kind of thing also I'm gonna roll it up slightly so you can see that the that the wind the glass here hopefully you can see that is has an acoustic glass system to where it's sandwiched with an acoustic um, 
material between two pieces of glass and that's the way the, the, the windshield side windows are and the windshield. There's the power seat. All right, so right here, we have a bunch of buttons and this is for your headlights. So you can turn out the parking lights, headlights, as well as your automatic headlights. So they'll just cycle on and off depending on which, what they need. Um, you do have the um, your fog lights here and then you have your ambient lights so you can turn on and off there. In the interior gauges, uh, you can you can dim them or, or make them brighter, the interior lights. Down here we have another button for opening up the tailgate. And this is your tow and haul button for towing a trailer. You have adjustable pedals, which you have this button here that can adjust the brake pedal and the accelerated pedal uh, in and out to match your distance that you need. Plus this is a tilt, power tilt telescoping steering column. So you can adjust it right where you want it. You can adjust the seat right where you want it. And then the pedals might be off, so you have to adjust those too. All right, let's take a look under the hood. All right, so it's covered up in plastic. Uh, 3.5 liter V6 is in here somewhere, but uh, you know, probably on this big, under this huge plastic cover that's hiding it, but it actually does have an engine. There's your battery, there's your air intake, um, your coolant, all that good stuff, but uh, for some reason, they just wanted to cover up the engine with plastic. But anyway, let's take a look on the inside. All right, here we are inside the 2015 Ford Explorer Limited. This is what the interior looks like. But let's start here on the steering wheel. It is a leather wrapped and stitched steering wheel. It has some good thickness and uh, very comfortable. It's a little, it has a little bit of a give to it so it doesn't fatigue your hands on long trips. Um, the steering wheel is well shaped for a comfortable, um, you know, different comfortable positions. And it also has a little bit of a bolster there uh, to aid you in turning the steering wheel in abrupt movements. So you'll notice a bunch of buttons and we'll start here. This is your cruise control. Um, you just make sure it's on by pushing it that way. And you can set it. Uh, you can set it and you can adjust your speed. You can resume. You can also cancel. So, um, so there's, that's your cruise control on that side. On this side is your volume for your radio. So you can adjust your volume up and down. You can seek through the stations there. And then you have, um, this is where you hang up your phone and you can uh, send and receive calls using this button here. This is a voice recognition button. So um, there's different commands, like say uh, you can uh, call certain people, like say go call Joe or whatever. Whoever happens to be in your phone book, you just say it like it's spelled in your phone book and you can call them. You can also receive calls and you can tell the computer to uh, tune to a certain station uh, on the radio. You can also say go to a certain place on the navigation map if you have navigation installed. Uh, the things like that. Very handy safety feature. Keeps your hands on the wheel, eyes on the road. Alrighty, so you'll notice on both sides you have these uh, directional pads with the OK in the middle on both sides. And these correspond with the corresponding screens. So like say this one is the right one right there, the red. And this one is the blue one here on the left. So we'll start here on the right and that screen corresponds with this big screen. So it's basically um, you can get a little bit of information from the big screen onto the little screen um, by choosing different options. You have entertainment, navigation, and phone. So I'm going to um, just kind of scroll down so you can see what it looks like that changes color. And then you go into entertainment, it just shows you what the radio is doing. And you can change to the station, um, stuff like that with the up and down arrows. So I'm going to go out of that, going into navigation, 
right now that the navigation is not installed um, but it will be before somebody buys it uh, there's a little SD card that has to be installed and, and set up for the customer and the phone there's no phone connected so you'll actually be able to uh, have some information on your phone uh, about your phone or who you're talking to who you're gonna call who's calling you that kind of stuff on that screen so that's the main features there you notice it is color coordinated for that that button right here so now we have this button this set of buttons here uh, it corresponds with this screen now this is more uh, related to the vehicle and the uh, gauges stuff like that so so here on the screen right now we are in the kind of like the main menu setting so we can go into display mode by pushing the right arrow and this gives us a different display um, the RPMs also it gives us the temperature and the fuel gauge now you'll notice the fuel gauge stays there all the time I'm going to scroll down you have the fuel gauge and then you have the miles to empty and then you've got the RPMs again so you have those two options either miles to empty with fuel gauge RPMs with fuel gauge or RPMs with fuel gauge and temperature so going to the left gets out of that mode then I can go into my trips going down and over to the right trip one and in trip two you notice that it gives you the miles the miles per gallon and the time all right go back out of that we've got fuel economy we can go into that we can see the instant fuel economy which is exactly what I'm getting in the moment while I'm driving I can scroll down and get uh, average averages stuff like that so you get a bar and average instant and then average in the past uh, 30 minutes I guess all right so the driver assistance this will this is where you can turn off some features uh, right now trash control the blind spot monitor the cross traffic alert and the rear parking aid are all turned on you can turn those off if you want to and then you can go into the settings um, and adjust like say uh, lighting uh, when you want the door doors to locks um, you can reset the oil uh, like say when you tells you to reset the when it times it tells you to change the oil you can reset that once you change the oil that kind of stuff you go into the power lift gate you can make it manual if you wanted to lots of cool stuff in there and then it goes back up to the top so so that's basically that little screen is corresponding with that and that's the kind of stuff that's involved in there and you have a nice big regular speedometer and um, with you know which gear you're going into very easy to read simple simple gauge cluster design over here is your turn signal and um, and your dimmer switch also this side is for your windshield wipers front and back all right so now let's look at this big eight inch screen they have and it's really easy to use it's a um, the my Ford touch system is super simple so right now I'm gonna hit this button this is the home button and the way it's designed is you have four corners you have four different main features that you can go into and it's split up and it gives you you know a brief information based on uh, what setting you're in right now so basically so let's click phone and it's going to ask me if I want to add a phone I do not um, so I get out of that go out of that once you pair your phone this is where you'll have all your information you can dial out with that keypad there um, you can do Go into your phone book, uh, history, um, which is like recent calls, and then you can also do messaging with this. You also, if somebody calls you, you'll see a picture picture there, just like sometimes you see on your cell phone, and um, so you can uh, hold somebody, mute them, that kind of stuff. So that's your phone settings or your phone screen, and let's go to the home button here. And on this side will be your navigation. Right now, there's no um, navigation installed, so it's not going to do anything. But this is where you would access your map and where you you put in your destination and all that stuff. Uh, entertainment will be right here. This is basically audio and um, lots and lots of different ways to play music through this sound system. You got AM, FM, satellite radio. Uh, you do have a CD player, USB port, uh, Bluetooth stereo. Basically, once you pair your Bluetooth phone or any other Bluetooth device you can play the, play it through the Bluetooth system 
you have an SD card and an, a line in auxiliary input to hook up an iPod or whatever, um, whatever you want there. So tons of ways of playing music through the sound system in this vehicle. So we're going back to the home screen so we can go to this last corner and that is climate. And in the climate you can set the temperatures for the driver, the passenger, um, you know, you can also set it to dual to where both of them are the same. Your, your heated and air conditioning seats plus your heated steering wheel controls are in here. And um, you can also push this button which will take you to the rear uh, climate control to where you can adjust that if you need to. Or you can just get it out of the way. Alright, so basically that's the main you know features there of the screen. Very easy to read, you know, right where to go, all that good stuff. Your CD player is located here. You can eject it with this button here. And all these buttons down here are just kind of soft touch. You just touch them, you don't have to push them, if that makes any sense. So like say you can you know, push the source button there, right there where the word is, not where the line is. And it will take you to like all those different sources of music um, there. You can adjust the sound by pushing that button. You, this right here is your volume right there and you can tune through the stations here um, you can seek through the stations or the tracks and you can tune through the stations this way and like I said you can just you just push it you just touch your finger there you don't actually have to push you just touch it and then your climate controls are around the outside and then are along the bottom you do have the uh, temperature controls on both sides the fan speed and all that stuff you do they are redundant because you do have them on the screen but they're just a quick access uh, way of accessing them, which is I think is a good thing All right, so in here is a kind of a storage bin, but also you'll find all these Access ports I was telling you about uh, this is where you'll find your SD card your line in your, your USB ports all that good stuff Plus you do have a 12 volt power supply there, and I guess in there would be a good place maybe to put a, a cell phone or um, Or something this goes it goes in pretty good to kind of Kind of, it'll probably get cluttered, but that's the way it is. All right, so here is your shifter, and I'm going to go ahead and put my foot on the brake and put it in reverse to show you the backup camera. And the backup camera is very clear, crisp, um, and the you know, the colors are, are you know easily seen. They're not washed out like some previous um, you know older model cars. But you notice, you can see from the back of the car all the way up to the sky because this is a wide wide angle lens so it stretches everything out um, it gives you the best visibility but it distorts things a little bit so Ford knew about that so they figured they'd put those lines there and those lines kind of give you an estimated trajectory of the vehicle as it's backing up and an estimated size now you'll notice this red right here that's telling you that hey you really don't want to go um, any closer than that all right, so I can also continue on, go down the neutral, go down the drive, and then I can go all the way into manual mode. In manual mode, uh, you can adjust the, um, basically go through the gears with this plus and minus right here on the side of the shifter, and you can manually go into different gears. Now, when I put it in manual mode, uh, this will pop up. The RPMs will just automatically pop up here, and it says one. Uh, that's letting me know I'm in first gear. I can go push it and make go in a second. It's not going to let me go too far out of uh, range as far as a uh, you know gear ratio because it's not going to you know, let you mess up the engine, but it does give you some control over the shift points. Alrighty, cup holders are here. Pretty good size cup holders, and they're connected with this little uh, space here, which is really good for say putting a cell phone or whatever there. Little tiny, I guess, change uh, pocket there. Then you have a center armrest, and the center armrest lifts up, and you have this um, storage bin that is going to get cluttered. It is a um, basically aligned with um, with like a pool table material, like a felt lined material, and you can see it goes way in there. Also, you have this power supply here. And this, this tray right here has this deep pocket, um, I guess for putting pins in or something. Pretty neat. 
Alrighty. It does have an auto dim rear view mirror to where if somebody is behind you with their high beams on, it will self adjust and, and dim so where it doesn't blind you. All right, the club compartment is massive and it has two, two like a little shelf in there as well. And up here we have a tap light so you can have a quick access reading light. Place to put your sunglasses is here. Microphone for the Bluetooth system when you're talking is there. Now these three buttons here are for your power sunroof. Now the first thing I'll, I'll mention is that the power sunroof has a shade and it goes all the way from the front to the back. It goes, it's one piece shade. So if you want to open that shade, you have to wait for it to go all the way back. To, to open up all the, uh, the windows there. So you can also, uh, you know, you can tilt your front sunroof. The back one is fixed, but you can tilt and you can open up the, uh, the front one here. It slides open all the way. And of course you can you know close the shade all the way just in case you're tired of the sun on you all right let's take a look back here see what your visibility looks like all right the visor does have a uh, light and a mirror and the same thing on the other side. All right, there you have it. 2015 Ford Explorer Limited. And if you have any questions, uh, please leave it in the comments. If you have any experience with this vehicle or a vehicle like this one, please leave it in the comments. I'm sure everybody would be glad to hear um, everybody's experiences with the Ford Explorer, especially, you know, this model. And it might aid in their buying decision. Also, um, I'm here at Conway Ford in Conway, South Carolina. I do not work for Conway Ford. Um, I'm, I work for you. So I'm asking if you could send me a tip. If you find my videos useful, valuable to you, I'd really appreciate it. It helps me uh, with expenses, trying to get, do all these videos for you. Really, really helps me out a lot. And also, I appreciate your time in general. Also, if you can share the videos, um, like, subscribe, all that stuff will help me as well. All right, there you have it. See you next time.